Getting the solutions right is super important to successfully install your kit. Many factors such as temperature, humidity, and your environment can dictate how your solution will react during install. But let's start with the basics. We include two bottles in your kit, red for tack solution and the blue for slip solution. The bottles have a measuring line, just like so, along the side so you can mix your solutions just right. The nozzle is adjustable to create a stronger and more pointed stream, go counterclockwise and it'll shoot a lot further. Go clockwise and you'll disperse the spray a little wider. Typically, we recommend around this so that you get a nice dispersion when you're actually creating that slip solution all around that body panel. So before we get started, always make sure to clean your bottles before every use. What we mean by that is you don't want any of that soap or suds in there and then put another slip solution mix into it, right? So you wanna make sure you rinse it out with clean water once you get it out create a new solution right here. Also, if you do it in a multitude of days or maybe a week or so, uh, make sure if it's been sitting around for a few days, uh, mix it again. Sometimes when it sits, it becomes stale. It can actually become harder to work with. So I would recommend just mixing a new one. Slip solution is used to slide the film into position. If you have too little soap, the solution will create dry spots and you won't be able to move the film into position. If you have too much though, it may be a little bit too slippery and you have difficulty getting the film to stick into position. You need to find the perfect balance. So now that we have a little bit of the basics down, let's go ahead and get the solutions mixed. So grab your bottles, rinse them out. We already have this bottle filled all the way up to 1000 ml with distilled water. I can't stress how important it is to have distilled water. It actually makes a big difference. Once it's filled, you're going to add one of these packets. These are exactly 5 ml. So all you have to do is tear it and just go ahead and put every single bit of this into your bottle. You want to get every single drop since it is an exact 5 ml. Once you get all of that, go ahead and put the nozzle, tighten it down, and you don't want to over shake. You just want to do a couple swirls like this and then you go one, two, one, two, and then you're good to go. Now you should have soapy solution for your PPF installation. Now that we have the slip solution done, we're going to go ahead and do the tack solution. So the tack solution, we're going to be using the same pour distilled water. Same thing for this until it reaches 800 ml. You're not going to be using as much tack solution as you are with the slip solution. So you wouldn't have to mix this as often. And that's why we only provide one 16 ounce, 70% uh, iso alcohol. So once we have it down with distilled water up to 800 ml, we're gonna go ahead and put 200 ml and you're going to follow the line and just pour that in there. That's a thousand. So once you get that, you should be good to go. You're going to be doing the same thing that you did with the slip solution. Put the nozzle on and just give it a nice swirl and go up and down. And this should be good to go. Now that we have both solutions mixed up, one tip that I would give is I typically mix a slip solution for every panel because you don't want to get in the middle of a panel and then run out. So before you get started on the door, mix a new one. Once you get to the rear door, mix another one and so on. We give plenty of these packets, so you should be good to go. Now that we have all our slip solution and tax solution mix, let's go ahead and start installing. <laughs> 